Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio. We're going to look at setting up haptic feedback for our controllers with the XR toolkit. That way we can not only see what we're doing, we can actually feel what we're doing as well. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here we are in Unity and we wanna give some feedback to the user. So that way we are not only using our eyes, but we're also using the feel within our hands when we're grabbing objects. So for us to be able to do that, we want to use haptics. So under the left hand and right hand controller under our XR origin, we're gonna scroll down in the inspector and in the XR ray interactor, you can see there's an option for haptic events. So we have a few different events that are predefined that we can go ahead and utilize. One is our, our hover event. So we can do on hover entered. So we can go ahead and select that. This is how strong the haptics is going to be within your hand and also how long it's going to last. So on a hover event, I want that to be a very slight intensity. So I'm gonna just do 0.1. And then for the duration, I'm gonna have that be 0.1 as well. Now, when I grab one of these paper balls and it pops into my hand, I want to also be able to feel it, but I want to feel that even more. So in this case, we're going to do a on select entered as our haptic event. And then the intensity, I want to have it be just a little bit more, still not too much, but a little bit more. So I'm going to add do 0.2 and then in the duration, I'm going to do 0.2 as well. Now that we have those set up, I can go ahead and actually hit play, and then I'm going to be able to test my haptics. So let's hit play. So here I am in the game, able to look around, and when I roll my ray over one of these paper balls, I get a slight haptic feedback in my controller. So when I grab it, I'm gonna hold my, in my palm trigger button, I grab it, it pops in my hand, and I'm getting an even bigger feedback. Let's go ahead and throw it. Boom, there we go, and we hit it the trash can. So now we have feedback within our hands in our game. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.